also new at 11, the state of California has declared a quarantine as much of the South Bay to protect our fruits and vegetables. Yeah, NBC Bay Area's Bob Riddell is in our newsroom right now. And Bob, I understand the state and the county are worried about a specific type of fly. Correct, Marcus and Laura, the oriental fruit fly, which according to the state poses a significant threat to billions of dollars of worth of fruits and veggies. As you can see in this photo released by Santa Clara County, this is what the oriental fruit fly looks like. It's yellow and black on the body with black on the leading edges of its wings. Unfortunately, this invasive species can lay egg eggs in, infest and destroy more than 230 types of fruits and veggies, including avocados, apples, citrus, tomatoes and peppers. The county says it would be disastrous if it were to get established in our area where it could spread and threaten over $19 billion worth of crops throughout our state. Now, this map shows the area that has been quarantined in the South Bay. The quarantine, which is expected to run through June 1st of next year, covers 112 square miles of the South Bay and includes the entire city of Santa Clara, parts of Cupertino, Milpitas, San Jose, and Sunnyvale. Now, the state detected eight oriental fruit flies in Santa Clara and Sunnyvale through traps. As you can see in this video, uh, they started last month treating the South Bay to kill these unwanted pests, and they'll continue to do so likely through early March of next year. Authorities believe that someone either carried infested fruit into the state and county from another location or someone mailed that infested fruit to them in the South Bay. I just spoke with the Agricultural Commission for the county of Santa Clara. Have we caught it early enough? Bob, I think so. We have a very good detection system. We work with California Department of Food and Agriculture and United States Department of Food and Agriculture with a detection program. And uh, the traps that we use work well. To catch eight is a lot. So that's what's triggered this quarantine. And we're hopeful to kind of lock down the area so nothing leaves, which would um, potentially spread the, the fruit fly. So what if you live in that area of the quarantine? What does this mean for you? Well, it's okay to eat your homegrown fruits and vegetables, but you do not want to remove them from your property. And if you are going to throw them away, double bag and seal them and then place them in the regular trash bins, not the green waste containers. Now, the state says if you notice someone selling tropical fruit online or in a store and if they're at high prices and that's not the type of fruit you would see prominently displayed in a store, that could be a red flag that someone is trying to ship or sell prohibited fruit from overseas. This is fruit that could be infested with the oriental fruit fly. Reporting live, Bob Riddell, NBC Bay Area News.